I got a confession, you guys. I need to apologize about Novatech. There's some things in this video that I want to clear the air on based off of my last few videos that I released about Novatech. You can see I made a first video that stated Novatech is about to scam out. Here's my review and why. And then another video the following day, Novatech FX last warning. Why did I actually create these videos? What was the real reason? First off, I have to apologize. Do I actually know if Novatech is a scam? I actually don't know the answer to this. But in this video, I'm gonna reveal exactly why I said what I said in my videos so you guys can understand where I'm coming from and that I'm not just trying to attack Novatech and just spread hate. All right, so if you're looking forward to this video, drop the video like, subscribe to the channel, tick the bell icon if you like the idea of making passive income in the online business space. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this video. Here we are on my Instagram page. You can feel free to follow this too as well. There'll be a link in the description below. I do release passive income ideas on this profile before I release them to the channel. So if you want an unfair advantage, you can go ahead and follow that as well. So what I should have corrected about Novatech in my last few videos is what I wanted to accomplish after being in the online business space for the past 10 years. I've seen the same red flags with other opportunities as what I've seen with Novatech. The fact that their address isn't actually where their company resides the fact that you call their customer service line, you don't get a live agent. I get it with some other opportunities and you know, doing business with actual physical products and services. Not every company has live agents. I completely get that. But when you're dealing with people's money, you would think that they would have better customer support. And I do know that their customer support is bogged down right now. And then you add the warnings, from like Alberta, Canada, you add the cease and desist, you add all these other elements, and these are the same exact red flags that companies that have scammed out went through in the past. So wouldn't you think, as somebody that's a new investor, that they should proceed with caution? That's all I'm saying. New investors proceed with caution and current investors might want to think about taking profits and not getting too greedy. And what I mean by greed is when you say, okay, a few more weeks, I'm going to compound. A few more days, I'm going to compound. When you're in the green, take profits. That's what I've learned. I've made over a million dollars twice in two years and lost over half of it twice because I got greedy, because I thought crypto was going to continue to go up, right? That's, that's a story for a different day. But this reeks of a perfect storm of a rug pull. And that's the point I'm trying to make is this thing's been around for four years now. It's becoming more popular. It's getting a lot of attention. There's a lot of people searching for reviews on Novatech right now. In the public's eye, the government's eye, it's getting a lot of buzz. And when that happens, they really crack down and they really want proof of things like trading. So that's why I created those videos. I hope you guys understand exactly why I did that. This is based off of my own personal experience. We all have different experiences. There's gurus on YouTube talking about Novatech, so-called gurus that have only been in the online business space for six months or a year. And they're drinking the Kool-Aid. They're loving it. They're getting paid. Of course, they're going to speak positively about Novatech. But the people that have been doing this for at least three, five years or more that have seen history repeat itself over and over and over again, 
they're going to be speaking a different tune just like myself. A lot of you guys are going to view me as a hater. You're going to view, view me as somebody with some other agenda. But the truth of the matter is, is I've been doing this for quite some time, you guys. I've seen this happen. And I just want to warn you guys, what you decide to do with this information is up to you. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not going to give you financial advice. But I want to caution you moving forward. This is somebody from a background and experience level that has seen this numerous times. So I don't want to beat a dead horse anymore. I hope this cleared the air of what I wanted to accomplish with those videos is the fact that there is just way too many red flags. History may or may not repeat itself. This could be the one out of a thousand that's legit and that comes out on top. And I hope that that does happen. But I don't want to be the person that said, I told you so. I don't want to be the hero. I just want to speak from my own worldview and my own personal experience. There's a dozens of other projects, programs that went through this very same process. They lost. That's all I wanted to say. Do I know if this is a scam or not? No. The others, did I know if they were scams or not? No, I didn't know until they actually scammed out, right? So hope this cleared the air. Hope you guys understand where I was coming from when I created those two videos. Be cautious. The longer that these things are around for, the more risk you run. And you run more risk when now it's getting publicity from the government I would rather, if somebody's new, if it's me personally, move on to the next thing. And if I'm currently in this, I'm going to take my profits. I'm going to make sure that I'm playing with house money. That's all I have to say, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this. If you got value, drop the video a like, subscribe to the channel, tick the bell icon. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.